Hey guys, my name is Shirley and I'm currently a student in Hochschule Main studying communication design. Um, I just finished my first semester and I would like to share with you guys what I did during this first semester, including all of my projects and yeah, I'm just gonna share my experiences as an international student here in Germany. So without any further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so I already have my laptop here. And for the first course that we're going to be discussing, we had Interaktive Grundlage, which was um, basics of interactivity, or so to speak. And we were supposed to design a website for our chosen song. And I chose Lati by Weird Genius, which is an Indonesian music. And yeah, I just wanted to like introduce my culture a little bit to this university because I also found the song really interesting. Also, the music video really inspired me um, when I was making this website. So, um, we learned how to make animations using CSS and also HTML and we were supposed to implement that also on our website. Um, yeah, so I made like the first section of this website it's called like the start side like basically the home page um, with like a little bit of animation and hover effects here and yeah and by the way all of this navigation bar actually work but I'm just gonna scroll down um, and the second one it's like a parallax effect with the mouse hover that I tried to like learn from YouTube tutorials because I was, to, I was supposed to make this with JavaScript and we hadn't learned that before. Yeah, but I think it's like really cool because the movements are also really similar to Wayang, this um, puppet shows from Indonesia. Yeah, and here goes the lyrics. We can like play them and also play the music at the same time. Or we can also like pause the lyrics also pause the music yeah <laughs> and the next one this is um, the animation that I made using SVG um, I made this puppet with Illustrator and then I created the movements basically using CSS animations yeah so this was supposed to be the big animation inside of the website um, the next one, I just added some of like informations about the cultural stuff that's like um, visible inside of the music video. And lastly, it's like pretty similar with the homepage. Um, it's just a little bit about the artist with Genius. And yeah, that's it. I think I made like, oh, it's like thousands of lines of coding. Um, let me be sure. Yeah, it's like 2,806 lines of coding. And for the CSS, I had like 900, 945 lines. Great. I find it kind of unfortunate that I made this on my laptop with a smaller resolution. And during the effect show, which was like um, an exhibition for the students, our websites were displayed on iMac, and it's like a lot bigger than my laptop so all of my website elements were kind of like out of place which was such a shame actually but yeah I can't have to learn from my mistakes so next time it will be better next course we had um, Gestaltungsgrundlagen which was basics of design and we were supposed to create sort of um book but like in an editorial magazine kind of way and this was my book as a result we were supposed to also print them by ourselves and also bind them by ourselves but I made a mistake by letting um, a copy shop bind them for me and it was such a shame because now some, some of the pages are like coming off here for example yeah so uh, it's kind of painful to see, but yeah, whatever. Um, so let's just get started. This is the cover of 
the book, it says Projekt Dokumentation and on top of it is actually also the word Projekt Dokumentation but I managed to make it like abstract and also in the form of a composition because they are both like um, the two main themes of um, the book like what we learned at this course and I had this concept firstly like written here as you guys can see like the main idea was to like use words that people shouldn't really recognize them immediately so that people will be intrigued to see what's actually inside of this book and they would like open the book so yeah that's basically the main idea and here we go to the schmutz title or like still the title inside the book and then impressum and widmung dedication and like impressum um, and then to the table of contents and also a glossar like a word a list of vocabularies because some of the people might not know and might not understand what they mean and yeah this is the first um, topic that we had inside of the course abstraction and portrait and yeah so basically i just put everything like what i learned like the key learning and then the other information that i got inside of this project um also my problems when i had to do this project and just have this weekly on my pages because it's basically also a part of the homework so yeah we post like every beneficial things on this side and people can like take a look at it or something yeah. the next one communication and design also have like my powerpoints here my website design process this i have to say this is my favorite design for the chapter because it's in the form of a wheelbarrow this is the wheelbarrow that we are supposed to make yeah and it looks like that fab harmony oh by the way i made everything black and white because um it looks a lot more tidier but for this chapter because it's about colors yeah of course it's in color so fashion theory um here we also needed to make a font and I decided to make like um, a font for like collage because I was kind of doing a collage back then. Yeah, I really like this one as well. And this would be my favorite project, Composition. I had to make two sculptures from the same materials for the wheelbarrow and we have to like make 30 different pictures from them and like name them with adjectives yeah and this one's like the reflective like the reflected and this one's a reflected cover so it looks like see-through if, if that makes sense yeah so that's that and for the next course we had topography class um we had to create and design a magazine sort of thing um, in a group of three and my friends and I decided to go with the 11th um, SDG and we also chose the project The Line which is a huge gigantic size sky skyscraper forming a line in the middle of a desert in Neom City if I'm not mistaken yeah so here's the cover we have a little bit of index here at the top right and like just there are like lots of questions here um, yeah that's that that's what my friend made the aufbau and also another aufbau it's like the plan build building plan Toyena, another project from Neom City the Grüne Wahrheit, it's basically the 
negative aspects of this project that are not often spoken about. And then another questions, which is supposed to be like fillers inside of this magazine. Another example from um, sustainable cities, but in other countries. This one we have um, one in Japan. Still Kamikatsu in Japan. Then Bosco Vertical, which is which is <laughs> Bosco Vertical, which is in Milan, I think. Yeah. And then another archetype, which is also like really complementary to the theme. And lastly, we have the Impressum. That's the back cover. So, what's up? And the next course will be um, Sprache und Text. It's a um, language and text course, but we had a collaboration with a university in South Carolina, which was CCU, Coastal Carolina University. So we were divided into nine groups and each group contained um, either two Americans and two Germans or some like two Germans, one American or vice versa. And I had to work with two other Americans and I was by myself from the Germany side, but that's okay because all of them were really nice to me. Um, yeah, but it was really stressful with this project because of the time zone and it was really hard for us to find the compromise and like work on the project really well but we somehow managed to get past that so we're, I'm proud of myself I'm proud of ourselves um, you're right so each of the group received two questions of what if that we discussed in, in class before and my question was, what if we all took hallucinogenic mushrooms before class? Um, and this one will be the result of my poster. I was aiming to go with a psychedelic 60s kind of look. And my friend Hannah, she had the idea of using an iPad because of this new modern era where people work and also like go to class with iPads instead of you know um, computers but still we have also like mouse here and the person we were interviewing for this project actually had the mushrooms um, on a pizza and then this person ingested it so that she would get like trippy or something yeah so that's there's like pizza here and then the magic one is supposed to show oh it's magic with this mushroom thing yeah and yeah basically two sets that are like reflected because um it's supposed to showcase this kaleidoscopic effect and also most of the psychedelic posters in the 60s also like portray this symmetrical effects, I'd say. Yeah, and it's called Phantasmagoria, which means um, like a series of dreams that are not true, like fantasy. Mm, Hannah came up with it. And for the text, we had um, an interview. Yeah, so but I'm not gonna read through all of that. But yeah, that one's nice. And the second um, project was hmm. the second question I meant. The second question was what if we couldn't make anything new? And I came up with this poster, um, The Law of the Men, because like there's like very little supply and like lots of demand, really high of demand, so it's called the law of the men. And I created this collage like with my hands, so analog, um, and then I took a picture of it, and yeah, I just put everything together on Photoshop. Uh huh. So that's that. There isn't really that much explanation here because it's basically like old stuff put together and like all about recycling um, reusables and stuff like that. So um, because we were aiming for the 
utopian and dystopian view from this project. So it's like the utopians are like the optimists who think that the world will be better and it will heal by itself since um, we couldn't produce any more waste. But the dystopians, instead of thinking the same way, they thought, um, if we couldn't produce any more things, it would be smart of us to steal all of our all of the limited sources and then sell them for like a higher price. So yeah, there are like always good and bad people in this world and we were just kind of aiming to showcase that part. And it's reflected here on the poem. Let me read that for you guys. It is a reverse poem. Being born in piles of junk is not a blessing. Our generation thinks that rubbish can be replaced with more rubbish so repurposing and reusing our futile efforts. Obviously, trash is still up there, so we cannot think working to reduce waste will heal our planet. Only use items once and then discard them. Ridiculous thought, it is reckless to run a system that, rec that, recycles, and re that recycles and reinvents. Of course, it is a nightmare to be in a world where nothing new exists such a bliss. And I will read that again, but from bottom to top. Be in a world where nothing new exists, such a bliss. Of course, it is a nightmare to run in a system that recycles and reinvents. Ridiculous thought. It is reckless to only use items once and then discard them. Working to reduce waste will heal our planet. Obviously, trash is still out there, so we cannot think. Repurposing and reusing our futile efforts. Rubbish can be replaced with more rubbish. So our generation thinks that being born in piles of junk is not a blessing. And the results of our um, posters and tags will be shown in an exhibition later on. But we're currently still on planning. So yeah, I'll update you guys if we get into that. And for the last one, um, we have which is jolly. We didn't really have a semester project but we had to create a comic book for the whole team. Um, it's basically a compilation of our works together in a book but yeah I have here some of the projects that I did for the course so we also had this Aktaishnan which is um, figure drawing. It is actually mandatory for us to attend this course for like three times minimal um, yeah and these I actually did at home because I somehow feel like I draw better at home instead of like in the room where people can see my drawings I just tend to get nervous and then like well you guys can see that for later on well you can you guys can see for yourselves later on so these are like some um, naked people <laughs> that I drew um, yeah, we also had like only 30 seconds to draw these, each person, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this one were the drawings that I made at the university. I somehow feel like the previous ones were better. This one's for the book. Oh, and this one was the reportage drawing I made for a friend of mine that I interviewed during the first week of school. And another like practices. And that was also his hand, my previous person that I interviewed. And these were like um some of my experiments for the comic books so yeah and that was the cover for the book but um, I think we decided to make that as a table of content and like show that these are actually the students in my classroom yeah I really like this one actually this one not so much mm. and this is the final um, result for the comic that we made. Yeah, that's that. So yeah, that's everything that I can show you guys in this video. 
have you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and comment in my video if you guys have anything that you would like to ask just message me on instagram at shule or you can just like write comments underneath this video so i hope it was helpful to you guys see you next time tschüssi